Well, uh, Bell County has issued a mask order. So I'm wearing a mask. Figure I'd just make fun of it. I'm not really gonna wear this all all day every time, but I just figured since it's new, and we're required to uh, that businesses are requiring people to wear masks. I'm getting ready to go to Walmart here, uh, just really to make a mockery of the whole of the whole thing. So I got a, a 3D printed mask here, and uh, I'm only doing this just to make fun of it. I'm not really a mask guy. Normally I just refuse. But what fun is refusing when you can just, you know, have one 3D printed for you, right? So let's see how it goes. Good morning, how are you? Hmm. I need to go get some tools actually. Not as exciting as I thought. Oh, for some reason my phone is heating up. I don't think I went too far. Texas. Here we go, that's what I need. I need to get to, I need to replace Greg's star keys because I broke them last night.
Alright. I will tell you. It's not very comfortable. You know, you gotta think if uh, the police are so easily baited, right? What does that really say about the police that they can be baited so easily? I mean, if police are going around calling auditors master baiters, does that, that pretty much make them fish? Brainless fish? Huh, okay, well, I shall be going now. I got what I needed. I probably need to go see the county judge just to make a point in his office. Welcome home, sir. So the uh, stone, the stone that I'm wearing is called a uh, snowflake obsidian, and the idea behind it is when I um, went through a PTSD program, when we graduated from the PTSD program, it was a very intensive uh, program, very beneficial for me. Uh, the doctor gave us 
this rock. It was a snowflake obsidian. This one here. And uh, the idea is, uh, the symbology is, you know, when you're feeling like you're in the dark and everything's closing in on you, um, focus on the bright, the bright spot. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Um, focus on the the bright parts in your life. And so you kind of assign each of these little specks. Where is it? There it is. Each of these little uh, specks here. There we go. Um, is light. And so when you find yourself in a dark place, try to focus on the good things in your life, the positive things. And so I wear this. I went and bought another one because I ended up giving the one that I was given to another soldier who was dealing with PTSD. All right, hang on, let me uh, take this mask off here real quick. Ah. But I ended up giving my rock to uh, somebody else, another soldier who was dealing with PTSD and depression and suicide, uh, suicidal thoughts. And uh, I went and got this one and uh, it just reminds me that when I feel depressed or down or when my when my anxiety kicks in, my PTSD kicks in, to focus on those uh, those bright spots in my life. And those bright spots, of course, are my kids, my uh, my wife, my family, um, each of you out there, the things that I've accomplished in my life, uh, open carry Texas, freedom. You know, focus on the things that are meaningful instead of uh, getting consumed by the darkness. And that's what that stone means to me. And I always carry around an extra one. Well, I normally carry around an extra one in my pocket. And if I ever come across somebody that's dealing with depression or PTSD or anxiety and they're having trouble coping, I always hand them uh, one of these snowflake obsidian rocks and, and tell them the story. Unfortunately, I left my bag of snowflake obsidian rocks in Virginia. So I already gave, I gave away the one I had in my pocket when I came back. The other thing about snowflake obsidian is that it's formed deep in the earth and it takes a lot of adversity and time to get to a place where it can be mined. So as it slowly progresses towards um, the surface, it's got to go through a lot of adversity to get there just to be mined and then it's got to be polished. And that's the symbology behind my snowflake obsidian. But I'm done with my uh, my little audit here, my little making fun of the mask ordinance. So there's the, uh, it's got, you probably saw, it's got like some 3D printed lizards on there. Um, little back thing. I'm gonna have to put something on the head because it keeps slipping down. So I'm probably gonna put a loop over the head to keep it from slipping down too much. But the other thing is, if I wear this like an Antifa rally and they try to punch me or something, it's going to really hurt. It's going to really hurt. All right, guys, y'all take care. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, shoot. Did I delete a message? I didn't mean to delete a message if I did. Wait, what's this? Why does this say view deleted message deleted by CJ Grisham? Why is that deleted? How do you undelete something? Hey, Waterburner06, I had no idea that I, I must have touched something. But he says if those jaws moved when you talked, you'd really get someone's attention. I agree. I'm sorry, I didn't, hey, I didn't mean to delete that. I don't know what happened. I just noticed that as I was re, I, I can view the deleted message, but I can't undelete it. How does that work? I must have touched something. Hey, uh, send me send me your mailing address. You've got my my phone and my email. I'll send you I'll send you one. Hey, Waterburner zero uh, six. Take care, man. I didn't mean to delete your your message there. I I really don't know how that happened. How how do you delete mess? Oh, there you go. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't want anyone thinking I'm like uh, censoring people. All right, that's pretty much it.
Yeah, I don't see anything else on there. Yeah, I guess I guess I can't undelete it. I'm trying everything, but it won't let me. I can put you in timeout. I can hide you. I can add you. I can report you. I can put view, but I can't undelete it. Oh, well. Anyway, all right, y'all take care. Be safe. Be free.